Hello and welcome back to Mac Alive. Today we're going to talk about how to take a screenshot on your Mac OS, on your MacBook Pro, your iMac, or your Mac Pro. Um, there's three different ways that I like to do it, and the, one of the ways we can do it is the free way, and that is by an application that is default in your Mac OS, OS and I'll show it to you. So what we want to do is go to Go, we're going to go to your util Utilities folder, open that up, and you're going to find this application here called grab.app. Just go ahead and double click on it. And as you see here, it arrived in your taskbar, your dock. We'll go ahead and get out of there. Now it's here, it's running here, and you operate it from up here. So we want to take a standard screenshot. So we can select capture, choose selection and it's going to tell us to drag over the portion of the screen you want to capture. So this is going to be in the way, but it won't cover it won't be in the way of the screenshot. So we'll just go ahead and we're going to copy this X. And there we have it. And from here, we can go select file. We can duplicate it, save it or close. Well, let's go ahead and attempt to save it. It's only going to allow you to save as a dot TIFF, T-I-F-F, -F, and that's it, nothing else. Go ahead and cancel here, and we don't save. Now there's other options here as well. We got selection, window, screen, and we got time screened. And that's the free way of taking a snapshot, a screenshot on your Mac OS X. Now the other way I like to do it is a program available in the App Store called Snapshot Editor and Capture and Screen Edit, screen edit here. And um, I'll go ahead and uh, post the information of this in the description of the video. Now, this will take snapshots, and it will also do other functions. It'll add arrows, add text, colors, and etc. Here's some of the features of it. And uh, here, it allows you to blur out sensitive information such as passwords or maybe it's your OS serial number. Whatever the case may be, it'll do it. Now, it's not free, but it is only $9.99, and it's a great app. Um, I personally use it all the time. Now, it's got some mixed reviews here, but in general, they're all pretty good, and it'll do probably exactly what you want it to do. So once you have it installed, if you decide to buy it, you can go ahead and open it up. You can find it in your uh, launch pad. It'd be Snapshot Editor. Let's go ahead and select it. Move that up here. And as you see here, it's running up in the toolbar up top on the upper panel here. And from the drop downs, Intelligent Capture, capture Delay Screen, a window, or Full Screen. We got some preferences here. You can delay the capture by up to five seconds. We can show the getting started window. We can play a sound, and we can show the magnifier tool when selecting an area. We can open an image to edit. We can do intelligent capture, do full screen here, a window, and delay. Let's do intelligent. See the little magnifier here? It's going to show you where your corners are. See where my cursor is? And that gives us the option to get right on that if we wanted to just be scientists about it, I suppose. And we go ahead and select it, and here we are. And from here, we can add text. Copy the clipboard, we can save as. Add arrows, we can go line width, and etc. Go ahead and move that back down here. Our opacity, we can change it. We can do the border in any color we decide to do it in. And that's some of the basic functions of Snapshot Editor. We'll go ahead and close out of here. And uh, if we, well, we want to hit save, we can save it just about any of the uh, top five uh, formats. But we don't want to save, so we'll just go ahead and get out of here. The other way that I like to um, do a screenshot is by a program called Dreamshot. We'll go ahead and we'll 
we'll select that. It's a tool that's similar in design. It does about the same thing. I'll show you here that it has all these functions here and you can also when you save it, it'll upload to some of the more popular file sharing sites for images and etc. It's got some uh, screenshots here, kind of what it looks like. And it is $9.99. It's got great ratings on it. I personally use it quite often. Pretty good. I'll post this information in the description of the video as well. And also, DreamShot has a website. You can visit here and get some more ideas about how it works. And I'll post this link as well. And Snapshot Editor also has a uh, website. And I'll post this link as well, also in the description of the video. So if you decide to buy it, and you can go ahead and get it installed, you go to your launcher and you'll find it under DreamShot here. You can simply open it up. To start a capture, you can use these commands here. You simply use some drop downs if you like. So if we hit shift and we hit command and D, we can start it off. And then we're done. Make another one. We can save it, print, email, airdrop. I message, Flickr, Twitter, Facebook, and iPhoto, whatever, whatever you want to do, or we can simply get out of it. And that's basically how DreamShot kind of works. And you can create custom shortcuts, file settings, and etc. And you can go ahead and get out of there, and we go ahead and close this here. And those are just my little tidbits on taking a snapshot or a screenshot on my Mac. Should be about the same as taking one on yours. Offer three different ways that you can do it. And there are other smaller utilities out there, and there's some bigger utilities such as Snagit and etc. that will cost you a tremendous amount of money, but they're more on the more of the professional lines. All in all, I think if all you're wanting to do is take screenshots and nothing fancy, what comes free with your Mac is Grab. That will probably work best for you. And uh, screenshot utilities will be number two, and DreamShot will be number three. Well. I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you found the video to be helpful. Please subscribe, and if you can, join our Google Plus page. Thank you, and you folks have a great day.